collection of pictures of her that I put together over the years. Put on this tape. It's kind of love letter to Sophia. She's very beautiful, isn't she? Hush. Yes. This next one is a kind of an audition scene. It was an informal interview with the director take one. in Hollywood where she... All right, you want to see... Would you she like photograph. to tell us a little bit about yourself? <laughs> you want me to bear my soul to you pirates, don't you? Go ahead, ask me anything you want. <laughs> Come on, we're not that bad. Sure you are. You can ask me what I like and what I want to do, and if or not, I wear anything to bed. No, 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 no. I promise you, I'll just tell you what I would tell my own mother. Okay, um, I love music. And I love art, and I love to sail, and I love to ski. Oh, and of course I love being an actress. I wouldn't be here, would I? Okay. Now, how about the unexpurgated version? <laughs> All right. Well, I I like to sing at the top of my lungs, and I have a terrible voice. I can't carry it too. And I'm vain. And I am. And I'm ambitious. And I am totally, always self-assured. Except I just cry at the drop of a hat and feel vulnerable all the time. Good. Now, the scene you're going to be playing, Sophia, it's a love scene. Do you think of yourself as sexy? I can make any man feel like a real man. Okay. <laughs> now, let me tell you about the children I want to have. I want to have a dozen children, and they are going to be beautiful and smart and sassy, and I'm going to be the best mother in the world, and do you know why? Because I know how to love, and that's what I'm going to teach my children. I'm going to teach them how to love and how to be loved. Fine. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you very much. If she could see her children now, she'd be very proud. I never knew her, really. Oh, I wish I had. This isn't right. This isn't right. I should have shared this moment with my father, not my mother's lover. It's supposed to be her daughter and the man she was truly in love with that should be experiencing this. It's not right for me to be here, to be seeing old films of my mother with someone who sneaked around and chased me the way you did. I'm sorry you feel that way about it. I want that tape. What? Why? I want to give it to my father. Oh. How would you explain where you got it? I don't know. I'll think of something, but... I really... I really don't want you to have it. It really hurts me to think that you feel that strongly about it. But if you do... Why not? I can't just hand these memories to Cece Capwell. I'm the one who kept Sophia's memory alive all these years. I'm the one who hasn't forgotten. You think my father has? He hasn't remembered the way I have. You're wrong. Who appointed you Keeper of the Flame anyway? Look at me! The way you preserved my mother has caused a lot of problems for a lot of people. And I happen to know that my father loved my mother much more than you ever could have. Much more. Cece Capwell may have married her. She may have had his children. But he never really understood her. This woman that we've just seen on this tape, if there were a hundred C.C. Capwells, you would never, ever understand or have loved her the way I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, wait. Wait. I'm sorry. 
I, I, I have something for you. I don't want any more of your gifts. All right, this is for your father, not for you. It's kind of an invitation, really. Yeah, this is a contract, a copy of the contract for a major network to come and televise the raising and the opening of the artworks and the chest from the Amanda Locker. I don't understand you. I really don't. If you really care for my mother, you would not try to malign my family this way. Sophia wasn't a Capwell. At least not by blood. And as for that, I could never do to your father what he's already done to me. And that's supposed to make it right, is it? An eye for an eye. It just keeps going on and on, and it just gets worse. It's, it's, it's childish, and it's wrong, and it hurts so many people. Why can't someone just say, no, it's over, we're finished? Why? Don't touch me! And don't ever talk to me like this again. Never.